Hi everybody, I'm going to show you guys how to synchronize your iPod, um, any iPod in fact, um, without using iTunes. Now, I've got an iPod Shuffle second generation, which I'm now going to connect up and hopefully iTunes should boot up. I've just connected it now. iTunes should boot up. If not, I'll open iTunes up and I'll show you. The computer is doing something, which is good news. I don't think it's going to open iTunes. Okay, so I'm going to open up iTunes now. What's up with your computer? Close up. Beautiful. Uh, it was released it. And the iPod Shuffle has got up here. Let's stop that because we don't want that to work. Okay. And there's other music on there which I can play through if I really wanted to. Settings. Settings there and the data which is already on there. I didn't actually use iTunes to synchronize this, so that's that. But whenever I try and, and sync this, so let's say I want to add music for my library, let's say I want to add let's say, uh, let's Say I want to add that file there. Yeah. Tell it to go straight syncing with my library. Say I can't do it. Okay, because of it that can, but I can convert that one. Hopefully that one should go in there. Nope. Nope. Is any of these are working? Nope. Does any of these work? And I'm going to add this song to the media library. It says syncing iPod, as you can see there. But the orange light on my shuffle is not flashing. And you'd actually find I can't do anything else from there onwards. It just crashes the system. So instead, I'm going to show you a quick little program that I've used, which you can go as well. I'm going to, I'm going to um, put the file onto my um, music download site, and I'm going to put it onto a basic software. It's called Copy Trans Manager. It's a free download. It's free s software. Copy Trans Manager would copy almost anything over, and then update your thing. I say it's all. It says update. Okay, so um, then so we're just gonna connect the iPod up. If you already boot this up, and if you boot this program up with the iPod already connected, it will get that message. So you just unplug the iPod, plug the iPod back in. You'll be okay from then onwards. Okay. As you can see, we've got a big list of files here, which have been added to the iPod. I can play files by double-clicking on the files, and it will play them down here. And then can add music to the library. So I can add files to the playlist. Let's say I could go into... Let's put my external hard drive in. Let's 
say I wanted to go and add files for my external hard drive. And let's say I want to add files for um let's have a look. What have I got here? Ah. I say I just want to add those five tracks to the library. So hopefully if I select that and open down here it tells you go away down here it tells you free space after sync and that you've also got a blue bar here that will fill up as you can see and that's just adding the files to the list once I completed the files add to the list but that's just the easiest part now that's the hard part so you press this button here which says save change to output once you press that you notice there's another bar, blue bar down here which fills up as it's updating the files. Also, this will decrease as you're updating the files. As simple as that, really. When done, to be quick, inject. That will safely remove your iPod. And you can remove the iPod from the system. And then if I go and connect the iPod up again, and go down here, the files I just added are there. Also, with no names, but because you're using a shuffle you don't get that and of course these files have actually been modified by me names and details and that um, you can't find a thing and it works just like iTunes I hope that helps um, it's copy trans manager it works with all makes of um, iPods from the iPhone 3G all the way down to the first generation iPhone and the um, no, first generation shuffle all the way down to the um, iPod mini Give it a go. I'll put the I'm gonna put them into these two files into a file and I'm gonna upload the file to um my site and I'll put a link to the site and you can go and download the files. So this is EH13JS uh, helping you solve your everyday entertainment needs. Have a good day all.